The University of Edinburgh, abbreviated as Edin, in post nominals, founded in 1582, is the sixth oldest university in the English speaking world and one of Scotland's ancient universities. The university is deeply embedded in the fabric of the city of Edinburgh, with many of the buildings in the historic Old Town belonging to the university. The University of Edinburgh is ranked 18th in the world by the 2019 QS World University Rankings. It is ranked as the sixth best university in Europe by the U.S. News Best Global Universities Ranking, and seventh best in Europe by the Times Higher Education Ranking. The Research Excellence Framework, a research ranking used by the UK government to determine future research funding, ranked Edinburgh fourth in the UK for research power, and 11th overall. It is ranked the 78th most employable university in the world by the 2017 Global Employability University Ranking. It is a member of both the Russell Group and the League of European Research Universities, a consortium of 21 research universities in Europe. It has the third largest endowment of any university in the United Kingdom, after the universities of Cambridge and Oxford. The annual income of the institution for 2016-17 was £905.8 million of which £265.3 million was from research grants and contracts, with an expenditure of £847.5 million. The university played an important role in leading Edinburgh to its reputation as a chief intellectual centre during the Age of Enlightenment, and helped give the city the nickname of the Athens of the North. Alumni of the university include some of the major figures of modern history, including physicist James Clerk Maxwell, naturalist Charles Darwin, philosopher David Hume, mathematician Thomas Bayes, surgeon Joseph Lister, signatories of the American Declaration of Independence James Wilson, John Witherspoon and Benjamin Rush, inventor Alexander Graham Bell, first president of Tanzania Julius Nyerere, and a host of famous authors such as Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Robert Louis Stevenson, J. M. Barry, and Sir Walter Walter Scott. Associated people include 23 Nobel Prize winners, two Turing Award winners, one Abel Prize winner, one Fields Medal winner, two Pulitzer Prize winners, three Prime Ministers of the United Kingdom, two currently sitting UK Supreme Court Justices, and several Olympic gold medalists. It continues to have links to the British royal family, having had the Duke of Edinburgh as its Chancellor from 1953 to 2010 and Princess Anne since 2011. Edinburgh receives approximately 60,000 applications every year, making it the second most popular university in the UK by volume of applications. It has fourth highest average UCAS entry tariff in Scotland, and 14th overall in the UK. History Topic. Founding Founded by the Edinburgh Town Council, the university began life as a college of law using part of a legacy left by a graduate of the University of St Andrews, Bishop Robert Reed of St Magnus Cathedral, Orkney. Through efforts by the town council and ministers of the city the institution broadened in scope and became formally established as a college by a royal charter, granted by King James VI of Scotland on 14 April 1582 after the petitioning of the council. This was an unusual move at the time, as most universities were established through papal bulls. Established as the Tunis College, it opened its doors to students in October 1583. Instruction began under the charge of another St Andrews graduate Robert Rollock. It was the fifth Scottish university in a period when the much more populous and richer England had only two. It was renamed King James's College in 1617. By the 18th century, the university was a leading centre of the Scottish Enlightenment. Topic. Development Before the building of Old College to plans by Robert Adam implemented after the Napoleonic Wars by the architect William Henry Playfair, the University of Edinburgh did not have a custom-built campus and existed in a hodgepodge of buildings from its establishment until the early 19th century. The university's first custom-built building was the Old College, now Edinburgh Law School, situated on South Bridge. Its first forte in teaching was anatomy and the developing science of surgery, from which it expanded into many other subjects. From the basement of a nearby house ran the anatomy tunnel corridor. It went under what was then North College Street, now Chambers Street and under the university buildings until it reached the university's anatomy lecture theatre, delivering bodies for dissection. It was from this tunnel the body of William Burke was taken after he had been hanged. 
Towards the end of the 19th century, Old College was becoming overcrowded and Robert Rowand Anderson was commissioned to design new medical school premises in 1875. The medical school was more or less built to his design and was completed by the addition of the McEwen Hall in the 1880s. The building now known as New College was originally built as a free church college in the 1840s and has been the home of divinity at the university since the 1920s. The university is responsible for a number of historic and modern buildings across the city, including the Scotland's oldest purpose-built concert hall, and the second oldest in use in the British Isles, St Cecilia's Concert Hall, Teviot Row House, which is the oldest purpose-built student union building in the world, and the restored 17th-century Milnes Court student residence which stands at the head of Edinburgh's Royal Mile. By the end of the 1950s, there were around 7,000 students matriculating annually. The two oldest schools, Law and Divinity, are both well esteemed, with Law being based in Old College and Divinity in New College on the Mound. Students at the university are represented by Edinburgh University Students Association EUSA, which consists of the Students' Representative Council SRC, founded in 1884 by Robert Fitzroy Bell, the Edinburgh University Union EUU, which was founded in 1889. They are also represented by the Edinburgh University Sports Union EUSU, which was founded in 1866. The medical school is renowned throughout the world. It was widely considered the best medical school in the English-speaking world throughout the 18th century and first half of the 19th century. The first medical school in the United States was founded at the University of Pennsylvania in 1765 by Edinburgh alumni John Morgan and William Shippen. It is ranked first in the UK's most recent ray. The Edinburgh Seven, the first group of matriculated undergraduate female students at any British university, began studying medicine at the University of Edinburgh in 1869. Although they were unsuccessful in their struggle to graduate and qualify as doctors, their campaign gained national attention and won them many supporters including Charles Darwin. It put the rights of women to a university education on the national political agenda which eventually resulted in legislation to ensure women could study at university in 1877. In 2015 the Edinburgh Seven were commemorated with a plaque at the University of Edinburgh, as part of the historic Scotland commemorative plaque scheme. On 1 August 2011, the Edinburgh College of Art founded in 1760 merged with the University of Edinburgh. As a result, Edinburgh College of Art has combined with the university's School of Arts, Culture and Environment to form a new enlarged Edinburgh College of Art within the university. All teaching is now done over two semesters rather than three terms, bringing the timetables of different schools into line with one another and coming into line with many other large universities in the US and to an increasing degree in the UK as well. Topic organization In 2002, the university was reorganized from its nine faculties into three colleges. While technically not a collegiate university, it now comprises the Colleges of Humanities and Social Sciences HSS, Science and Engineering SCE, and Medicine and Vet Medicine MVM. Within these colleges are schools roughly equivalent to the departments they succeeded. Individual schools have a good degree of autonomy regarding their finances and internal organization. This has brought a certain degree of uniformity in terms of administration at least across the university. Topic colleges and schools Topic Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences The College of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences is the largest of the three colleges in the University of Edinburgh. It has 11 schools, one centre, 16,300 students and 1,460 staff. An advantage of its size is the very wide range of subjects and research specialisms. There are over 300 undergraduate, 200 top postgraduate programs and over 1,600 PhD students. Its research strength, as affirmed in the 2008 Ray, has attracted over 1,200 researchers. It includes the oldest English literature department in Britain. It was ranked 12th in the world according to the Times Higher Education 2014-15 ranking. The college hosts Scotland's Economic and Social Research Council Doctoral Training Centre DTC. The Scottish Graduate School of Social Science is the biggest of 21 ESRC-accredited DTCs in the United Kingdom. 
Business School Edinburgh College of Art Moray House School of Education School of Divinity School of Economics School of Health and Social Science School of History, Classics and Archaeology School of Law School of Literatures, Languages and Cultures School of Philosophy, Psychology and Language Sciences School of Social and Political Science The Center for Open Learning Topic Medicine and Veterinary Medicine The College of Medicine and Veterinary Medicine has a long history as one of the best medical institutions in the world. In the last research assessment exercise, it was rated first in the UK for medical research submitted to the hospital-based clinical subjects panel. All of the work was rated at international level and 40% at the highest, world-leading level. The medical school is ranked first in Scotland and third in the UK by the Times Good University Guide 2013, the Complete University Guide 2013 and the Guardian University Guide 2013. Graduates of the University of Edinburgh Medical School have gone on to found five out of the seven Ivy League medical schools, become US Senators, become Prime Minister of Canada, invent the hypodermic syringe, cure scurvy, discover carbon dioxide and isolate nitrogen, develop IV therapy, invent the decompression chamber, develop the oophorectomy, and discover the SARS virus. Faculty of the University of Edinburgh Medical School have introduced antiseptic to sterilize surgical instruments, discovered chloroform anesthesia, discovered oxytocin, developed the hepatitis B vaccine, co-founded Biogen, pioneered treatment for tuberculosis, discovered apoptosis and tyramine among others. The eight original faculties formed four faculty groups in August 1992. Medicine and veterinary medicine became one of these, and in September 2002, became the smallest of three colleges in the university. University of Edinburgh Medical School Royal School of Veterinary Studies School of Biomedical Sciences School of Clinical Sciences and Community Health Topic Science and Engineering In the 16th century science was taught as natural philosophy. The 17th century saw the institution of the university chairs of mathematics and botany, followed the next century by chairs of natural history, astronomy, chemistry and agriculture. During the 18th century, the university was a key contributor to the Scottish Enlightenment and it educated many of the most notable scientists of the time. It was Edinburgh's professors who took a leading part in the formation of the Royal Society of Edinburgh in 1783. In 1785, Joseph Black, professor of chemistry and discoverer of carbon dioxide, founded the world's first chemical society. The 19th century was a time of huge advances in scientific thinking and technological development. The first named degrees of Bachelor and Doctor of Science were instituted in 1864, and a separate Faculty of Science was created in 1893 after three centuries of scientific advances at Edinburgh. The Regius Chair in Engineering was established in 1868, and the Regius Chair in Geology in 1871. In 1991 the Faculty of Science was renamed the Faculty of Science and Engineering, and in 2002 it became the College of Science and Engineering. School of Biological Sciences School of Chemistry School of Engineering School of Geosciences School of Informatics School of Mathematics School of Physics and Astronomy Topic Campuses As its topics of study have grown and diversified the university has expanded its campuses such that it now has six main sites in Edinburgh. Topic Central Area The Central Area includes George Square which itself includes the university's George Square Lecture Theatre, the Informatics Forum, the Dougald Stewart Building, Old College, New College College, McEwen Hall, St. Cecilia's Hall, Teviot Row House, the old medical school buildings in Teviot Place, and surrounding streets in Edinburgh's Southside. It is the oldest region, occupied primarily by the College of Humanities and Social Science, and the Schools of Computing and Informatics and the School of Law, as well as the main university library. The Appleton Tower is also used for teaching first-year undergraduates in science and engineering. Meanwhile, Teviot Place continues to house pre-clinical medical courses and biomedical sciences despite relocation of the medical school to Little France. Nearby are the main EUSA buildings of Pottero, Teviot and Pleasance. Former residents of George Square include Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Some of these buildings are used to host events during the Edinburgh International Festival every summer. The main library, Edinburgh University library is also located at George Square. New College, overlooks Princes Street and only a short walk from Waverley Rail Station and other Edinburgh landmarks. The building is on the mound, which houses the School of Divinity, parts of which are also used by the Church of Scotland. Topic King's Buildings The King's Buildings KB is located further south of the city. 
Most of the science and engineering college's research and teaching activities take place at the King's Buildings, which occupy a 35-hectare site. It includes C.H. Waddington Building, the Center for Systems Biology at Edinburgh, James Clerk Maxwell Building, the Administrative and Teaching Center of the School of Physics and Astronomy and the School of Mathematics, the Royal Observatory, William Rankin Building, School of Engineering's Institute for Infrastructure and Environment, and other schools' buildings. There were three libraries at KB: Darwin Library, James Clerk Maxwell Library, and Robertson Engineering and Science Library. A new library called the Noreen and Kenneth Murray Library opened for the 2012-13 session as a replacement for the previous three libraries. It also houses National E-Science Centre Scottish Microelectronics Centre Scottish University's Environmental Research Centre and the Scottish Institute for Enterprise. Topic. Pollock Halls Pollock Halls, adjoining Holyrood Park to the east, provides accommodation mainly half board for a minority of students in their first year. Two of the older houses in Pollock Halls were demolished in 2002 and a new building Chancellor's Court has been built in their place, leaving a total of ten buildings. Self-catered flats elsewhere account for the majority of university-provided accommodation. The area also includes a £9 million redeveloped John McIntyre Conference Centre, which is the university's premier conference space. <laughs> Little France Little France, the Chancellor's Building, was opened on 12 August 2002 by the Duke of Edinburgh and houses the £40 million medical school at the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh. It was a joint project between private finance, the local authorities and the university to create a large modern hospital, veterinary clinic and research institute. It has two large lecture theatres and a medical library. It is connected to the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh by a series of corridors. Queen's Medical Research Institute was opened in 2005, and provides facilities for research into the understanding of common diseases. Easter Bush The Easter Bush campus houses the Royal Dick School of Veterinary Studies, the Rosslyn Institute, Jean Marchig International Center for Animal Welfare Education and the Veterinary Oncology and Imaging Center. The Royal Dick School of Veterinary Studies, founded in 1823 by William Dick, is a world leader in veterinary education, research and practice. The new £42 million, three-story, 11,500-square-metre building opened in 2011. The Rosslyn Institute is an animal sciences research institute which is sponsored by the Biotechnology and Biological Sciences Research Council. The institute won international fame in 1996, when Ian Wilmot, Keith Campbell and their colleagues created Dolly the Sheep, the first mammal to be cloned from an adult cell, there. A year later Polly and Molly were cloned, both sheep contained a human gene. <inaudible> Holyrood Moray House Moray House School of Education, just off the Royal Mile, used to be the Moray House Institute for Education until this merged with the university in August 1998. The university has since extended Moray House's Holyrood site. The buildings include redeveloped and extended sports science, physical education and leisure management facilities at St. Leonard's Land linked to the Sports Institute in the Pleasance. The 2016 Holyrood North Halls have been named after former Principal Sir Timothy O'Shea and further student accommodation is provided at Holyrood South. The Outreach Centre, Institute for Academic Development University Services Group and the Edinburgh Centre for Professional Legal Studies School of Law are also located at Holyrood. Topic. Academic profile Topic. Admissions As of 2018, Edinburgh had the 14th highest average entry qualification for undergraduates among UK universities, with new students averaging 180 UCAS points, equivalent to just above AWE in A-level grades. 
The university gives offers of admission to 50.4% of its 18 year old applicants, the fifth lowest amongst the Russell Group, as the number of places available for Scottish and EU students are capped by the Scottish Government since students do not pay tuition fees. Students applying from the UK and outside of the European Union have a higher likelihood of an offer. Excluding courses within the Edinburgh College of Art, the most competitive courses for Scottish, EU applicants in 2016 were International Relations, Oral Health Sciences and Business Studies with offer rates of 7%, 8% and 9% respectively. In comparison, students from the rest of the UK have a 55% chance of receiving an offer for international relations and students from outside of the EU have a 79% chance of an offer for international relations. 33.6% of Edinburgh's undergraduates are privately educated, the seventh highest proportion amongst mainstream British universities. As of the end of 2016, the university has a higher proportion of female than male students with a male-to-female ratio of 39 to 61 in the undergraduate population. The undergraduate student body is composed of 37% Scottish students, 31% from the rest of the UK, 11% from the EU and 20% from outside of the EU. Topic. Rankings and reputation The University of Edinburgh is a member of the Russell Group of Research-led British Universities and one of several British Universities to be a member of both the Coimbra Group and the LaRue League of European Research Universities. The University is also a member of Universitas 21, an international association of research-led universities. Edinburgh is a member of the Sutton 13 of top-ranked universities in the UK. In the 2014 UK Research Excellence Framework, Edinburgh was ranked fourth in the UK and first in Scotland. The results also indicate that the university is home to over 35% of Scotland's four asterisk research. In 2008, the Ray rated the medicine and informatics first in the UK. Edinburgh places within the top 10 in the UK and second in Scotland for the employability of its graduates as ranked by recruiters from the UK's major companies. A 2015 government report found that Edinburgh is one of only two Scottish universities along with St Andrews, London-based recruitment and elite professions such as investment banking consider applicants from Edinburgh was ranked 13th overall in the Sunday Times 10-year average 1998 ranking of British universities based on consistent league table performance. The QS World University Rankings 2015 ranked Edinburgh 17th in the world. The Times Higher Education World University Rankings 2016 ranked Edinburgh 24th in the world. In 2015, the academic ranking of world universities placed Edinburgh as 47th overall and 6th in the UK. Edinburgh is ranked 31st in the world, 5th in the UK in the 2016 Round University Ranking. The noticeable disparity between the University of Edinburgh's research capacity, endowment and international status on the one hand, and its ranking in national league tables on the other, is largely on account of the central role which student satisfaction plays in the latter. The University of Edinburgh was ranked bottom in the UK for teaching quality by its students in the 2012 National Student Survey. According to the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2015, the university is trying to address undergraduates' concerns with a new personal tutor system and a peer support scheme. However, Edinburgh achieved an unwanted clean sweep of rock-bottom rankings among universities in this year's National Student Survey NSS for questions to do with the promptness, usefulness and extent of academic feedback, suggesting the university still has a long way to go to turn around a poor position. In the 2017 guide, Edinburgh fell to its worst-ever position of joint 37th placed with local Harriet Watt University in a domestic league table. The fall was attributed to lower NSS scores combined with a significant drop 78.6% to 73% in the prospects of its graduates. In the 2016 Complete University Guide, 19 out of the 50 subjects offered by Edinburgh rank within the top 10 nationally, with architecture, chemical engineering, East and South Asian studies, linguistics, Middle Eastern and African studies, social policy and veterinary medicine occupying the top five positions. The Times World University Rankings listed the university in 30th place worldwide for social sciences. <inaudible> <inaudible> student life Students' <inaudible> 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 association 
The Edinburgh University Students Association consists of the unions and the Student Representative Council. The union buildings include Teviot Row House, Pottero, King's Buildings House, The Pleasants, and shops, cafes and refectories across the various campuses. Teviot Row House is claimed to be the oldest purpose-built student union building in the world. EUSA represents students to the university and the outside world. It is also responsible for over 250 student societies at the university. The association has four sabbatical office bearers, a president and three vice presidents. The association is affiliated to the National Union of Students. Topic. Performing arts The city of Edinburgh is an important cultural hub for comedy, amateur and fringe theatre throughout the UK. Amateur dramatic societies at the university benefit from this, and especially from being based in the home of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, Edinburgh University Theatre Company EUTC, founded in 1896 as the Edinburgh University Drama Society, is known for running Bedlam Theatre, the oldest student-run theatre in Britain. Bedlam Theatre is an award-winning Edinburgh Fringe venue. The EUTC also fund and run acclaimed student improvised comedy troupe The Improverts during term time in Fringe. Alumni include Ian Charlson, Michael Boyd, Kevin McKidd, and Greg Wise. The Edinburgh University Savoy Opera Group are an opera, musical theatre company founded by students in 1961 to promote and perform the comic operettas of William Gilbert and Arthur Sullivan, collectively known as Savoy Operas after the theatre in which they were originally staged. The Edinburgh University Footlights are a musical theatre company founded in 1989 and produce two large-scale shows a year. Theatre Paradox, founded in 2014, is a student theatre company that aims to produce shows that are experimental without being exclusive. They produce a large show each semester and one for the festival. Topic. Media The Student is a weekly Scottish newspaper produced by students at the University of Edinburgh. Founded in 1887, it is the oldest student newspaper in the United Kingdom. The journal was an independent publication, established in 2007 by three students at the University of Edinburgh, and was also distributed to the four other higher education institutions in the city, Harriet Watt University, Edinburgh Napier University, Queen Margaret University and the Edinburgh College of Art. It was the largest such publication in Scotland, with a print run of 14,000 copies and was produced by students from across the city. It folded in 2015. Fresh Air is an alternative music student radio station, one of the oldest surviving student radio stations in the UK. It was founded in October 1992. In September 2015, Edinburgh University Student Television EUTV became the newest addition to the student media scene at the university, producing a regular magazine styled program, documentaries, and other special events. Topic sport Edinburgh University's student sport consists of 67 clubs from the traditional rugby, football, rowing, and judo to the more unconventional coughball and gliding. Over 67 sports clubs are run by the Edinburgh University Sports Union. The Scottish Varsity, known as the world's oldest varsity match, is a rugby match played annually against the University of St Andrews. It is played at the beginning of the academic year and since 2015 it has been played at the BT Murrayfield Stadium in Edinburgh. During the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, the University of Edinburgh alumni and students secured four medals, three gold and a silver. The three gold medals were won by the cyclist Chris Hoy and the silver was won by Catherine Granger in rowing. In the 2012 Summer Olympics Edinburgh University alumni topped the UK University medals table with three gold medals, two from cyclist Sir Chris Hoy and one from rower Catherine Granger. Topic student activism There are a number of campaigning societies at the university. The largest of these include the Environment and Poverty Campaigning Group People and Planet and the Amnesty International Society. International development organizations include Edinburgh Global Partnerships, which was established as a student-led charity in 1990. There is also a significant left-wing presence on campus, including an active anti-cuts group, an anarchist society, Edinburgh University Socialist Society, Marxist Society, Feminist Society, Young Greens, a Students for Justice in Palestine group, and the Edinburgh University Conservative and Unionist Association. 
Protests, demonstrations, and occupations are regular occurrences at the university. The activist group People and Planet took over Charles Stewart House in 2015 and again in 2016 in protest over the university's investment in arms and fossil fuels. In May 2015, a security guard was charged in relation to the occupations. Topic student cooperatives There are three student-run cooperatives on campus, Edinburgh Student Housing Cooperative, providing affordable housing for 106 students, the Hardy Squirrel Food Cooperative, selling healthy, local, ethical, organic and fair trade food, and the Shrub Co-op, a swap and reuse hub aimed at reducing waste and promoting sustainability. The cooperatives form part of the Students for Cooperation Network. Topic library The Edinburgh University Library predates the university by three years. Founded in 1580 through the donation of a large collection by Clement Little, its collection has grown to become the largest university library in Scotland with over 2.5 million volumes. These are housed in the main university library building in George Square, one of the largest academic library buildings in Europe, designed by Basil Spence. The library system also includes many faculty and collegiate libraries. The Law Library is currently housed at the David Hume Tower due to renovations at its original home in Old College. Notable alumni and academic staff The university is associated, through alumni and academic staff, with some of the most significant intellectual and scientific contributions in human history, including laying the foundations of Bayesian statistics Thomas Bayes, quantum mechanics Max Born, nephrology Richard Bright, the theory of evolution Charles Darwin, the initial development of sociology Adam Ferguson, modern geology James Hutton, antiseptic surgery Joseph Lister, classical theory of electromagnetism James Clerk Maxwell and thermodynamics William John McCorn Rankin, the discovery of carbon dioxide, Joseph Black, latent heat, Joseph Black, specific heat, Joseph Black, the HPV vaccine, Ian Fraser, the Higgs mechanism, Peter Higgs and Tom Kibble, the hepatitis B vaccine, Kenneth Murray, nitrogen, Daniel Rutherford, chloroform anesthesia, James Young Simpson, and SARS, Nanshan Zhang, and the inventing of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell, the hypodermic syringe, Alexander Wood, the kaleidoscope, David Brewster, the Telfarid. Fleming Jenkin, the vacuum flask, James Dewar, the ATM, John Shepherd Barron, the diving chamber, John Scott Haldane, and in vitro fertilization, Robert Edwards and Subhash Mukhopadhyay. Other alumni and academic staff of the university have included signatories to the U.S. Declaration of Independence James Wilson, John Witherspoon and Benjamin Rush, Prime Ministers Gordon Brown, Lord Palmerston and Lord John Russell the latter matriculated at Edinburgh, but did not graduate, astronaut Piers Sellers, biologist Ian Wilmot, geologists Archibald Geeky and William Edmund Logan, physicist Sir David Brewster, John Robison and Peter Guthrie Tate, writers Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Robert Louis Stevenson, J.M. Barry, Sir Walter Scott, Aeneas Franken Williams, and Alistair Moffat, economists Kenneth E. Boulding, James Murleys, and John Hardman Moore, historian Sir Tom Devine, actor Ian Charlson, composers Kenneth Layton, James Macmillan, and William Wordsworth, chemists William Henry, David Lee, Guy Lloyd Jones, and Alexander R. Todd, botanist Robert Brown, surgeon James Barry, mathematician Colin McLaurin, polymath Thomas Young, philosopher David Hume, stationer Princess Nora of Ottingen Spielberg, Pilot Eric Winkle Brown, former BP CEO Tony Hayward, former Director General of MI5 Stella Remington, theologians John Dickey and Robert Prius, mathematician, Fields medalist, and President of the Royal Society of Edinburgh Sir Michael Atia, former Home Secretary and Chancellor of the Exchequer Sir John Anderson, and now Tasmina Ahmed Sheikh, the Member of Parliament for Ochil and South Perthshire. At graduation ceremonies, the vice-chancellor caps graduates with the Geneva bonnet, a hat which legend says was originally made from cloth taken from the breeches of John Knox or George Buchanan. The hat was last restored in 2000, when a note from 1849 was discovered in the fabric. In 2006, a university emblem taken into space by Piers Sellers was incorporated into the Geneva bonnet. Topic. Heads of state and government Topic. Historical links Harvard University, an American Ivy League university, had its medical school founded by three surgeons, one of whom was Benjamin Waterhouse, an alumnus of Edinburgh Medical School.
Dalhousie University, Canadian U15 University, founded in 1818. In the early 19th century, George Ramsay, the 9th Earl of Dalhousie and Nova Scotia Lieutenant Governor at the time, wanted to establish a Halifax College open to all, regardless of class or creed. The Earl modelled the fledgling college after the University of Edinburgh, near his Scottish home. McGill University, Canadian U15 University, founded in 1821, has strong Edinburgh roots and links to the University of Edinburgh as McGill's first and, for several years, its only faculty, medicine, was founded by four physicians, surgeons, including Andrew Fernando Holmes and John Stevenson, who had trained in Edinburgh. University of Pennsylvania, an American Ivy League university, has long standing historical links with the University of Edinburgh. Penn School of Medicine was founded by John Morgan, an Edinburgh medical graduate, and was modeled after Edinburgh Medical School. Princeton University, an American Ivy League university, had its academic syllabus and structure reformed along the lines of the University of Edinburgh and other Scottish universities by its sixth president, John Witherspoon, an Edinburgh theology graduate. The College of William and Mary, the second oldest university in the USA, was founded by Edinburgh graduate James Blair, who served as the college's founding president for 50 years. Columbia University, an American Ivy League university, had its medical school was founded by Samuel Bard, an Edinburgh medical graduate. University of Sydney, the first Australian university, was founded by Charles Nicholson, a physician and graduate of the University of Edinburgh Medical School. See also University of Edinburgh Portal Chancellor of the University of Edinburgh Rector of the University of Edinburgh Edinburgh University Press Gifford Lectures Institute for the Study of Science, Technology and Innovation James Tate Black Memorial Prize List of early modern universities in Europe Edinburgh University Settlement Centre for the History of the Book Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links Edinburgh University Students Association Edinburgh Research Archive era, online collection of papers